timing of the goal, I think, knocked the stuff in our Lille a little right bit. Right before half time. I mean, yeah. you've been a manager, obviously, as we know. I'm sure that's happened to you. And you well, look, any, to tear up the, look the at the half time. Any talk. team, any, any team, when you're ahead coming to half time, particularly when you're a bit of an underdog, you want to get in at half time and, and, and regroup and say, look, that's a great first half. Now, this is what we've got to do in the second <laughs> half. But instead, the rug is pulled from under you and you've got to change the whole team talk. But you, you'd like him to give that team talk with five minutes to go before half-time yeah. and say, don't lose, don't lose it. Do whatever we have to now to play out those last couple of minutes. But they weren't good enough, bad decisions, not used to playing at that tempo, leaving space. That, that's at the level they're at. These decisions are are, are, are the difference. They're fine, fine lines, and they they just that's the reason they're playing for Lille and they're not playing for Chelsea. Yeah. And what do you do as a manager when that happens? Do you just throw out everything you were about to say? Well, you you do a bit of coursing on your way into the dressing room <laughs> to yourself, and then you you go in and and you have to let it go yeah. and walk in the situation you're in, which is your level, and you're back to, we need to get two goals again. And you look for positive things and try to correct some of the negative things. There wasn't much negative about how Lille had played up until mm. that point in the match. But unfortunately, they end up going in 1-1, where they'd have been delighted to get in a goal ahead. But there you go. The manager can only do so much with the quality of the squad he has. And he used them well up until that point, until vital mistakes are made, they said, and the decision-making, the two players that ran out. Yeah.